لیکن اس دھماکے کے نتیجے میں فلوٹ محسوس رہا میں بالکل they said they kill her and they got this close right alongside benazir bhutto A deadly suicide bombing strikes around midnight as former Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto's motorcade slowly weaved through the streets of Karachi amid thousands of supporters and tight security. Video footage at the scene showed the carnage, bodies strewn all over the road. One of Bhutto's aides traveling with her described the chaos. Suddenly we were struck by from the left of the truck. There was a huge explosion and we all fell on each other. For a while we were on the ground and then we tried to stagger up and pull each other up. Somebody pulled me up and I couldn't get up. After a while, as while we staggered up, we felt another shock to the truck, shook and the shrapnel, the glass and the fire, the fire actually flew into the truck and something set on fire. It turned out the, the tires of the truck and the car next to it. Security forces shuttled her away immediately. She's now safe at home. Pakistani officials say Bhutto was warned to delay her return because of threats to her life. Many Pakistanis were bitterly opposed to a deal she made to share power with President Pervez Musharraf, allowing her to return after an eight-year exile. In an interview with CNN before taking off from Dubai, Bhutto said she knew she was a potential target. I am aware of the threats for my security and this has been discussed with General Pervez Musharraf. I am also writing him a letter and I'm mentioning the hands, the hidden hands who will be responsible if any untoward action happens. The US condemned the attack saying that there is no political cause that justifies the killing of innocent people. The US also says it stands by the people of Pakistan against extremism. Zain Verji, CNN. Absolutely horrendous scenes here in Karachi. Uh, we've counted uh, at least 10 bodies. Uh, I would say the death toll will be much higher, but uh, bodies strewn across the road, uh, blood running in uh, rivers across the road, uh, body parts strewn across the road, right around the convoy of Benazir Bhutto. We're, I'm standing right beside uh, the sort of open-top truck that she was uh, Uh, progressing through the city on a, 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 an hour or so ago. She is nowhere to be seen now. There's just uh, a, a scene of, uh, of, of total carnage here. One vehicle is, uh, is completely burnt out, uh, and her, uh, her campaign bus is, uh, is fairly badly damaged as well. I have no word yet on whether she was hurt herself, uh, but it appears that the uh, nightmare scenario that everyone had been fearing in that, in that uh, terrorists were threatening to attack her It seems to have happened here. Well, did you, how, how did, when was the last time you actually saw her? Because the reports we're getting from the Associated Press, from the wire services, suggesting she was not hurt in these explosions in Karachi. Uh, but, but those are the reports from the AP. When, when, did, when did you see her last? And, and, and what are you seeing right now? AP reporting at least 30 people dead, more than 100 injured in these blasts. Yeah, I mean, I saw her about an hour ago, um, which must have been fairly, uh, just a short time before these blasts happened. She was uh, riding through the streets, as you had seen from those pictures before, with uh, thousands of well-wishers crowding around her vehicle. Uh, she was actually very high up on that vehicle, and it looks like the, 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 the top of the vehicle wasn't that badly damaged. The windscreen has been uh, smashed by the uh, force of the blast, uh, but one car that it looks like was following her vehicle is almost completely burnt out. Uh, and as for the death toll, there, I mean, there are more bodies than I could count, so it, it may well be uh, 30-plus uh, killed here. Certainly awful, awful scenes, and, uh, and they are still clearing away the debris of this blast now. Uh, I haven't got any confirmation of, of whether she was injured or not. We, we arrived, uh, I guess, probably uh, 15, 20 minutes after this blast. Uh, happened and uh, uh, there was still quite a lot of confusion as you can imagine with uh, dozens of ambulances and police cars racing to the scene. Uh, we're getting word from one police officer we've spoken to here. They think they have found, recovered the body of what they say uh, is a suicide bomber. We've got no way of confirming that but uh, it, it certainly bears all the hallmarks of uh, some sort of terrorist attack, uh, possibly a suicide bombing. Well, Uh, you know, what, one interesting point, uh, I'm wondering, uh, uh, Dan, you're on the scene in Karachi for us. Those of us who have been to Pakistan and have covered Pakistan and this whole crisis over the years recognize Karachi probably one of the more uh, 
uh, extreme cities as far as fundamentalists are concerned, anti-West, anti-American elements, and certainly Benazir Bhutto is seen as someone close to the United States. She studied here. She's been aligned with the United States in the war on terror. What was the decision-making? Why did she decide to go first to uh, Karachi, a hotbed of these kinds of activities, as opposed to, let's say, Islamabad, where there certainly would be much more control over the situation? Yeah, I mean, you're absolutely right. Benazir is seen uh, as, a, as a very pro-Western uh, politician here. She is a deeply divisive character. Uh, although she had this amazing welcome home street party uh, today, there are lots of people who are very bitterly opposed uh, to the deal that she struck with uh, General Musharraf, uh, a power-sharing deal that could see her return uh, as Prime Minister. Uh, and this was always the threat. And, and to be honest, when we were here earlier on, uh, we all remarked how lax the security seemed around her convoy. Uh, I mean, we were able to pass uh, right up close, uh, within you know, touching distance of her vehicle without anyone checking who we were uh, at all. It was it was total chaos, frankly. Uh, there was no uh, no security around her vehicle stopping people getting close to it. Uh, it, it, it really is, was quite surprising how easy it was just to just to walk straight up to the side of the bus in the middle of crowds. Uh, and we were saying then that you know, uh, frankly, if there are suicide bombers in this crowd they're not going to find it very difficult to cause uh, mayhem and destruction and, and then it's, it's reported the former pakistani prime minister had left the truck and is safe tonight but hundreds of thousands were on the streets of karachi to welcome her back from eight years of exile and casualty numbers are high this was meant to be a triumphant return ahead of the first democratic election terrorism 20,000 security personnel were deployed and she travelled in a bullet and blast proof bus, although she ignored police advice to stay inside it. More supporters came out onto the streets as night fell, although even some of those pleased to see her return are unhappy that she's now seen as a potential ally for President Musharraf, the man who took power in a military coup eight years ago. Pakistan's return to democracy was never expected to be straightforward, but this attack came as a stark reminder of the problems the country faces. Phil Ray Smith. Yeah, I was on the truck. He's not a bodyguard. He's a party uh, boy. He's a youth boy. He was on the truck also, and he was just standing behind me. And he's wounded, and many standing in front of me and on the road, walking in front of the uh, truck in which Benjamin Bhutto and we all were were really, uh, some of them have died on the spot because their bodies and were scattered on the road. How, how long ago did these explosions take place just, and just, just what were I you doing immediately hard. before it? Uh, yeah, we were just going towards the uh, place where she had to address the gathering and there was a huge gathering around the truck on which she was going. And uh, we, we've been uh, traveling on the truck since she's landed at the airport since 1.30. And she's in the truck till th from 3 o'clock till this time. We have not reached the final destination where she's to go and uh, speak on the occasion uh, at the Mazar of the founder of Pakistan, Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah. We were just halfway through and the blast took place on the way. And uh, presumably, uh, you know, this shock to you and everybody around you. I mean, she has been, of course, the focus of many of her enemies, and there have been fears for her security since she arrived in Karachi. Yeah, we did took security measures, all, all police around, and all security people around, and I think that's why she's been saved, and many security guards have been injured and uh, killed. Uh, remind me again, if you will, sir, because I may have missed it when you were telling us. When exactly did the explosions happen? I know it was as she was making her way to I address I, I, her supporters. Uh, I think hardly 15 minutes ago. Really, 15 minutes ago. Where is the, yeah. the former prime minister now? Actually, when this boy got hurt, I came off the truck and uh, brought him to the hospital. So I'm at the hospital at the moment, so they might have taken her way now to the home. I don't know exactly where she is at the moment. But she was definitely, uh, uh, I believe, safe. And if I may ask you, uh, and obviously you're still in shock if this only happened a, a matter of moments ago, uh, what does this mean now for her political campaign? What repercussions does it have? Uh, that the party has to decide. But we feel that uh, as uh, there's an uh, election coming up, she'll definitely go into campaign, but I will have to have more security around her, and the party has to take a decision on that now. 
do you think that she is personally afraid for her own life? Uh, she's been telling that to the uh, to the world, and that's why security measures were taken. We'll have to be take more strict measures for security now, I believe. Uh, and uh, would that mean that she might not be able to address her supporters uh, as informally as, as she was planning to do this evening? Uh, that the party has to decide. The party is going to take a decision on that, but I think she's going to win for a campaign and campaign for the party for the coming elections. Uh, what is the mood now? Are you anywhere near the scene uh, when these explosions occurred? or, or, or Something comes off concrete and uh, an inquiry 